everyone. This is Six Storm Team Meteorologist Ken Weathers. A forecast update for you on this Sunday. A lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and get to it. Today is going to be relatively quiet across the area. The big chime in tonight into tomorrow across the region. Six timeline showing by noon. Other than a spotty shower or two, it's pretty quiet. Even by 4 o'clock, notice temperatures very pleasant into the mid-60s across much of the central Southern Valley and even Foothills locations. And we're seeing some rain-cooled 50s back towards the north. But that being said, you can kind of tell where that cold front's moving into Monticello and already through Bowling Green by that time. And it will continue to slide southward through the evening, and we'll see these temperatures start to fall off. But still very mild, even by 8 p.m., through at least midnight across the Knoxville area. We're staying in the upper 40s and low 50s, so all rain at that point. Notice by 3 a.m., though, starting to see that light wintry mix. Most likely that'll be a rain-sleet mix across portions of the plateau up into Kentucky by that time frame. We'll zoom on ahead to 7 a.m., and notice this point still showing rain in Knoxville, but I wouldn't be surprised if we we're having some sleet mixed in with that at that time. Here's where the problem is, though. Notice below freezing plateau, border counties up into Kentucky. Could be a freezing rain and snow mix by that time. That cold air continues to drop southward. We're at about 36 here in Knoxville by that time. Upper 20s, though, already on the plateau. That will be snow. That's where the accumulations will start to pile up in those areas. Good news is this starts to move out by early afternoon, and really it's by then we see that colder air move into the Knoxville area. So we're kind of, at this point, limited uh, when that cold air comes in because most of the moisture has moved out by then. So that's why I think the greater impacts are going to be north and west of the Knoxville area up towards the plateau. Now this would be bad news. These are estimated ice accumulation amounts, some quarter inch amounts to tenth of an inch amounts. This accreting on some trees, power lines could cause some concerns and roadways as well. Now on top of that, some snow, what it looks like now is up to an inch for portions of the plateau, a stripe of some one to three inch amounts across Kentucky. Rest of us trace to an inch and again with as warm as it's going to be today, and the time that the cold air moves in, I think this is probably mainly on some grassy surfaces, but we'd have to watch out, you know, elevated bridges and overpasses, that kind of thing. But for the most part, I don't think this is going to be a huge concern for the valley, foothills, or even the mountains. And the advisories agree with that. In fact, winter weather advisories for the plateau, again, the border uh, counties with Tennessee and Kentucky, and then winter storm warnings. Again, that's where the worst weather will be across southeast Kentucky. And here kind of the impacts I'm looking at with this. I think we're going to see some moderate impact levels uh, for ice and snow. Also, travel, I have moderate to high simply because of the icing potential before the snow. And again, this is mainly for the Plateau, Kentucky, Northern Valley locations. Again, Central Valley foothills, I don't think we're going to have a huge impact with this winter storm at this time. Flooding, though, I'd say that could occur anywhere. Indications are we could see some one to almost two inch amounts of rain with the system as it comes through. The other big story really is going to be the temperature drop. We're going from mid 60s today at midnight Sunday night. We're probably right around 50, 51 degrees, and then we drop through the 30s as we go through the day. That's area wide, and it's going to be very cold by Tuesday morning with temperatures in the low 20s. Then another chance of rain late next week. Now, again, I have all the latest forecast de details for you coming up tonight at 6 on 6 News, but you can always check us out on our Facebook page, Twitter as well, and go to wate.com for the latest.